Edge connectors are a common way to interconnect boards, where a printed circuit board with applied contact surfaces is inserted directly into a slot with spring-loaded contacts. A correct edge connector design requires some understanding of the technology. The pad topology is done in a standard production run, but further operations require additional procedures and extra attention. Multiple mating operations are detrimental to the surface finish of the edge pads. Therefore, special wear resistant electro deposited gold plating is used for edge connectors. The coating is applied to all edge connector contacts, for which purpose they are made electrically connected outside the board outline in a technological panel. After plating, the connecting metallization is removed at the contour milling stage. Short branch conductors may remain on the actual board. To ensure that the edge connector fits seamless into the slot, a chamfer is often removed from the edge ribs of the printed circuit board. The need for a chamfer and its dimensions are defined depending on the requirements for the connector and must be given to the board manufacturer, in example in one of the mechanical layers or in a separate document. Creating an edge connector footprint is not too difficult from creating any other, but there are some details. The placement of the contact pads is carried out in accordance with the manufacturer's documentation of the used mating connector. To prevent damage to the contacts while chamfering, it is necessary to provide a certain gap to the edge of the board. It is important to lay the board outline in the footprint to ensure proper fit into the slot. Information is also taken from the documentation of the connector. Use the specialized board shape layer to place the outline information. Remember to place the contact pads on the back side of the board, on the bottom layer and double check the numbering. Opening the solder mask is usually done with a single region, at once on the whole area of the connector. It is necessary to take into account the specifics of edge connector placement on the board. Gold plating and chamfering operations are performed on special equipment that requires the edge connector to be located on the protruding part of the board. Location in the depth of the board outline will not allow these procedures to be performed. Sometimes this is acceptable, for example if the connector is used for a single tooling connection. It is theoretically possible to place an edge connector on more than one side of the board, but the manufacturer should be consulted about the specific configuration. Once the connector is placed in the board, use the board shape layer geometry from the landing area as part of the overall outline. Extensive snapping options will help to position the graphic primitives accurately. In this way, the connector outline will become an integral part of your board outline. Remember also that each slot is designed to be used with an edge connector on the board of only one particular thickness. Due to a peculiarity of electroplating, manufacturers do not recommend to place exposed copper areas, pads of components for example, at a certain distance from the plated area, in example the section of the connector opened from the mask. Check the minimum value of your manufacturer. The above mentioned features should also be taken into account when forming a group workpiece on your own. Assemble the boards in such a way that all edge connectors face the same side of the panel.